Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center and I'm here, Jessica and Doreen, with their movie Like Salt. Let's take a look at the clip. Um, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to have you both here. Thank you for your film. Um, I had such a pleasure in watching it, but there are some people who haven't seen it. So tell us a brief synopsis of your film. First of all, thank you so much for having of us. Of course. This is, this is great. Um, so Like Salt it follows the story of an Arab-American female boxer and an African-American jazz musician in New York. And their journey, uh, their journey as both uh, in, in such a city, uh, kind of breaking the barrier of, of their background, of where they come from. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I love from the very first moment when she's the first opening scene, and it's just, you just take us right into this, this journey, and I love that these characters who just kind of came together, you know, it's, I think it's a lot about the New York story, isn't it? You meet a lot of interesting people yeah. in New York, and thank you for coming from New York City to be here as well. Um, a lovely story, I love this, this journey of these, of these characters, and you know, you left me wanting more, but we'll get to that later. Where did the inspiration come for you in creating this particular project? So, um, the story is set in 2006. Mm -hmm. um, the inspiration came from um, my personal experience uh, being Lebanese, originally mm -hmm. Lebanese, and uh, as Arab, identifying as Arab American, mm -hmm. uh, during 2006 summer, uh, I was actually living here in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, and that was um, there was the war, uh, the Israeli-Lebanese war, mm -hmm. uh, and I had family back in Lebanon at mm -hmm. that time, and I lost connection with them over like a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get to talk to them. I couldn't get to know if they're okay, if mm -hmm. they're alive so i experienced that like trauma of like losing someone mm. and someone that i love and that was my mother um and the film really focuses on that uh this connection that um happens without your your control and how you can be living in one place but you're m mentally you're somewhere else yeah you're not where you're physically at and yeah. no one around you really understands that um that that uh that difference between where you are and where your mind is. Yeah. And you're, you're basically acting based on where your mind is, not mm -hmm. where your body is. And that's kind of how I explored the character of um, uh, Hala, who Jessica plays that character. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna, I'll get to your uh, wonderful performance in a second, but um, following from your story, I think, I think that's such an important subject to also look and, and thank you for sharing like a personal experience and then making this incredible film where you are living in, in a different country and sometimes the United States they kind of get a bit lost with understanding what is going on in the rest of the world and that must have been you know very difficult for you but what a great performance and what a great story you made in making that not to mention Lebanese food's the best in the world just, <laughs> just telling you yeah it's true um, yes it's true, true. <laughs> <laughs> no obviously you've got a great you've got a great team um, and obviously you, you have got one of your stars right here um, how did that come about together this wonderful relationship here Do Facebook you tell story? Facebook is that how it came <laughs> oh, Facebook I know, oh really um, I was doing another short film yeah and um, where I was speaking Arabic and the girl who was on set like making sure the Arabic was okay actually she played one of the friends in the film yes. oh. um, she said oh my friend just sent me this Facebook post this director's looking for like a couple Arabic speakers to mm -hmm. be in her film and I was like Facebook like <laughs> whatever and I looked Doreen up and I looked at her website and her previous films and I read, I don't know, everything about like basically stalked her pretty much. I was legit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just trying to say. I, I, the film that I was working on before was like the first film I'd really, that had made me kind of look into my background and, and my culture. And yeah. so a chance to work with a Lebanese director was like, like something I'd been wanting. And then yeah. not just a Lebanese, someone who was 
had the vision that Doreen has. Mm -hmm. And um, so I emailed her and then, yeah, we got to And we met and, you know. And you know how it is. You know, she read the script and then we, you know, worked together. We actually didn't really, like, do any audition. I, I, I didn't do that with Jess. We, we just went over the story. We talked a lot about the story. I wanted to make sure that she gets the character mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a complex character that um, wasn't easy to find the right person to play, mm -hmm. uh, to have that mix of being Arab and diaspora mm -hmm. and having acquired both stories and owning them mm -hmm. as being American and Arab at the same time mm -hmm. in, in a very conflicting time of her life where mm -hmm. she's kind of defining her identity and defining what really makes her what she is today yeah um being that immigrant story so yeah. and i found that in jessica because she has this um this background she comes from a lebanese background who was born and raised in australia and and having lived in a lebanese home with parents cooking lebanese food so <laughs> really she she she, well. she had she w had the understanding of the character very like she understood it very quickly and mm -hmm. for me that was like of course yeah, I, it was it was so great to sort of see you know your your journey as as, as a the character as a boxer and it was it was wonderful and then it was so touching like the conversation you have with your father it's just like you know it brings an essence of reality and uh, was it kind of was it kind of how is it for you as an actress kind of yeah. taking on a role like this and and kind of knowing her background history what she's going through what her family's going through back home how was that experience for you as an actress? Honestly, like Doreen said. I could identify with it really quickly and it was just an amazing experience as a person because that's something I had never really like looked at within myself mm -hmm. so getting to explore it through this script and it just gave me like such a bigger understanding of yeah. like who I sound like, I know, but like but who yeah. I am and like where I come from and things like that so yeah. it was just, I don't know, a dream to be yeah. able to do that. Oh, it's just one, and that's lovely to hear that as well, because um, it really, I think, resonated, you know, with many, many people that may be in very similar situations as well across the world, you know. Um, what was the biggest challenge you had making the film? The biggest challenge? Oh, every filmmaker would tell you that. Time, <laughs> Time. budget. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it, it, for me, the most challenging part as a director in this film in particular was just working um, working with, with a very diverse team of cast and crew mm -hmm. and having to really uh, communicate my vision to each and every single person. Mm -hmm. Not that you don't do that in any, any other film, but in this film in particular, because people were so different and we were telling a very cultural story. Yeah. So that was a little challenging. Um, yeah. But I loved that challenge, especially when we were doing like reading sessions. Uh, we had to go over a lot of like history, backstories, like what happened during that war, why mm -hmm. would she... So these were like challenges that mm -hmm. made me make directorial decisions that were in the favor of the story more than anything else. So yeah. that was a challenging part, definitely timing and, and budget is always the case. No matter how much always. you give a filmmaker, yeah. they need more. So, That's right. <laughs> so that shouldn't be a challenge anymore, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, your film's made for the, for, the big, for the big screen and it was so great to have it with us at New Filmmakers, LA in front of an audience. What was that experience like for you? It was amazing, actually. We were talking about it last night. Um, it's always great to be in a, in a room full of people who are coming from different backgrounds, mm. and especially all of them are there to support women directors. Yeah. Um, and, and also watching all these amazing films uh, throughout the night it was was just great. I was very proud to be part of the screening and, uh, and the program itself. And getting yeah. to meet all the other filmmakers was amazing. Yeah. yeah. And then for you, obviously for you, it was, it was how do you find when you were up there and you, are you, are you one of those actors that are able to see yourself on the screen? How was it, how was that experience for you? Well, I feel like the first time watching the film, I was like, oh, but then like <laughs> the second time, like, and now I don't know how many times I've seen it now, but you, I just, every time I watch it, I, I, I'm not watching myself. I'm watching mm -hmm. the film mm -hmm. and. Isn't that great? Yeah. Christine, right? Yeah. And it's just, it's just every time I, I learn something different from it and I mm. notice something different that uh, one of the actors did or something like that mm. and 
just appreciating every aspect of it and mm. filmmaking is such a team sport you yeah. know and this team in particular was like a family you know like so involved everyone was passionate from like the grip to yeah the yeah. actors we had a dream team it really but you, it does show i feel that you can always feel an energy of a film when you've got this real connected because the film's more connected and therefore you can tell because the cast and crew are connected and it really does show you have like this like wonderful dream team which leads yeah. me on to say what are you doing to, what are you doing again together or individually what's coming up next for you both so our next thing is our feature film. Yes, I'm so, glad. And, and it's, um, it's in the early process of development. We've got the script and uh, a little bit of financing. And we're just, this is the thing we want to do. And actually, it does tackle similar themes from the short, uh, but in a totally different context. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And Jessica's going to be in it. Yes. Uh, he's going to be in the lead role as well as uh, the actor who played Kendrick. Fantas oh, he was fantastic, yeah. Yes. Um, that was yeah. his first ever acting yeah. role. Oh, I don't believe yeah. it. I can't believe mm -hmm. it. Wow. He's actually a bass player. He's, he's An incredible actor. bass player. Yeah. Wow. Well, he's got a whole new career coming yeah. for him. So yeah, like, you better get ready. trying to get him in <laughs> Um, I, I, this, I'm so glad you're making a feature because the moment I just saw you panning out of this film, I was like, no, I want more, <laughs> don't do this, don't do this. So that is really exciting. Um, in, your, in your careers thus far, um, what, what have you, is there anything you've learned or a piece of advice that you have or something that you go by for anyone else out there that wants to be in front of camera or even behind camera? I learn something every single day. Um, it's like... It's just expand, expanding uh, knowledge and learning process. Um, I, I'm, I don't like giving advices at all because they're not valid to anyone except yourself. Mm -hmm. They have to you know, learn to get to know their own advice like mm -hmm. for themselves, like mm -hmm. you know, trial and error. But they just have to keep doing it. Like mm -hmm. If this is what you want to do, just go all the way. That's mm -hmm. the only thing that I know that everybody else would say as well. Mm -hmm. But each person has their own journey. You're not someone else. You're mm -hmm. not someone else's story. You didn't come from the same background. Yeah. You didn't have the same challenges. So none of the advices would be applicable 100% to you. Mm -hmm. So you form your own uh, story, mm -hmm. which is how you made it, how you got there. I love that you said that. What I've personally learned for myself is know who you are, know what you have to say. Know what you, know what you are and know what you've got to say. I mean, that, yeah. that, that, that really is it. You know, sometimes we, we always feel like we've got to, I think that sits well with everything that you said. Sometimes we always feel like we're supposed to, like I said, everyone's got different experiences, yeah. had different challenges. Mm -hmm. And it is so important to get to know you as well, right. you know, and what you've learned. I think that's, Right. I think as yeah. long as you know that, then you can't get pushed like off the yeah know, off your path. Yeah. Because so many people are going to give you so much advice. A lot of it unsolicited. And I think if you're like looking to get advice from people, then you just get taken. You know. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't it's know. It's actually like filtering. Yeah. Like just know how to filter yeah. everything yeah. until you find the thing that really settles with you yeah. and defines what you want for yourself. And us that lived in New York do it best. Is what <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, We're no. in LA. We need to get no, back no. home. <laughs> no, be, 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 be exactly <laughs> how you are and never change. Um, thank you for like, so thank you for both of your thank great reviews. I'm so happy that a feature's coming and it's going to be together with you both again because you are a dream team. Um, so thank you both some very, very much. Like so everybody, you gotta watch it and wait for the feature.